Hello and welcome to Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. Now you may be saying, but you guys have already microwaved CDs. No, we microwaved one CD, and now we're going to microwave 16. So let's go roast this CD. And as always, our sharp microwave. Never a good idea, unless you want an explosion. Stop burning, stop burning. Safety is our number one concern. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. The mask! They do nothing! We also hide behind a big tinfoil shield. Nobody likes roasted nuts. Is it a good idea? <laughs> Absolutely. Is it a good idea to microwave this? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> You're at the Jory Karen Laboratory. Safety is one of our concerns. <laughs> See what I did there? It's no longer That's number one. That's why we hide behind this giant tinfoil shield. It's to protect our nuts because nobody likes roasted nuts. Nobody likes roasted nuts. But well, we also have this fan over here. It's to circulate the air to give us a false sense of security. And as always, our sharp carousel microwave. I love everything about this one. I especially love the fact the display works and there's a button oh! for the door to open. That's right, baby. That's something Sandra could never give to me. <laughs> so here is a lot of CDs. I'm just gonna throw them in there, kind of like that. I think we have 15 total. Don't, don't you asked correct for it. If... You asked for it, and this is what you get. This, this many CDs is almost like microwaving a laser disc. <laughs> if anyone out there has a laser disc, send it to us because we want to microwave that. All right, 15 freaking CDs. Here it comes, boy. So I wonder how long I should put it in there for. Well, knowledge right now is saying. CDs don't take that long, but there's a lot of them. So I'm going to put it in there for I would, a minute and a half. Yeah, that's probably a good amount. I want to make sure, you know? Ooh! Wow! It's like a shimmering... It's like Aurora Borealis is happening inside of our microwave. I sure hope that other shot is getting this. It's like a slower version of one CD. It's going to smell horrible in there. It's smoking and sparkling. Not as quickly as one CD. I mean, it's clearly a slower process. And the ones on the outside are going more. Perhaps mm. the double layering. Now, if you left them in a stack, what, how would that, would that funnel the effect? I know nothing, okay? I would not know how that would work. I wouldn't. I'm sorry. Smoking, smoking, smoking. Smoke. Don't know. Oh, wait, we have to pay for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even if you sample it like that, it's true. It's still going. It's like it's a elongated light show. So for those who who want a little bit more out of their CD, mm. just mm. get 14 of its friends. Throw it in there with it. I mean, like, I know all of you have gotten those AOL CDs. I have a collection of 45 plus. Now you know what to do with them. So let's go and find out what we just created. Let's go. Oh, no. It smells pretty bad in here. Um, remember that budget we had for masks? Um regretting it right now because we don't have them anymore. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, some of them are sticking to each other. And they're kind of warm. Rest assured though, they have all been destroyed. If you're wondering, these are just like blank staple CDs. Uh, this one apparently, Contents Backup CD 02. It doesn't make a lot of sense to back something up and then destroy it. Okay, so uh, you may be wondering, is it a good idea to microwave many CDs opposed to just one. No, it's not. And if anyone sends us a laser disc, we're going to microwave that, and guess what? It's not going to be a good idea to microwave that either. We still want to do it, though. We still want to do it, so please send it to us. That's about it for Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This? I'm your host. I'm Jory Caring. <laughs>